Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Well, believe it or not, it's time to start racing again. <laughs> the 2017 professional racing season is about to begin with the Tour Down Under in Australia, and it'll be the first UCI World Tour race of the year, and the Tour Down Under in and around Adelaide for six stages beginning Tuesday, the 17th of January. Uh, in years past, the Tour Down Under has been a real showcase of Aus Australians' uh, best cyclists. Uh, the defending champion, of course, is Simon Gerrans from the Orica Scott team, an Australian team. Uh, but Stuart O'Grady has won in the past, and Michael Rogers has won in the past. Uh, Tom Gilta Schlachter has won in the past. Um, but generally speaking, it's been a real Australian show uh, of strength and uh, results. The Simon Garrett squad of Orca uh, Scott might be the strongest team in the bike race. Esteban Chavez is going to join Simon Garrett and Caleb Ewan. Um, BMC will also be very strong in the race with Richie Port and Rowan Dennis, two Australian superstars. And we'll get to who I think is going to win in a, in, a, in, a, in a moment. But first, the stages, six stages. Uh, most of them are for the sprinters, a lot of time bonuses up for grabs. Um, and stage number five, the queen stage, will make the determining uh, GC battle in clear focus. Uh, it has the Willunga Hill circuit, and that's a stage that's been won for the last three years in a row by Richie Port. Um, so if Richie Port wins that again, he's going to be very tough to beat in the overall standings, especially if he gets a gap on the rider that I think is most likely to challenge Richie Port, and it's not Simon Garrett, it's Peter Sagan, the world champion, current world champion, Peter Sagan will be at the race uh, with his new team, Bora Hansgrove, so it'll be very interesting to see uh, Richie Port and Peter Sagan uh, in a heated battle. One advantage Sagan will have, and which I think will help him move up in the overall standings, even if he falters on Willunga Hill, is the time bonuses in all the stages out on the open road. So Peter Sagan, very clever, uh, very experienced in getting time bonuses because of all the sprints that he goes for in the intermediate battle for the green jersey in the Tour de France. So Peter Sagan, uh, and he'll probably want to show off a little bit to his current, uh, his new team. Uh, also on the roster, Rowan Dennis, he'll probably be helping Richie Port try to win the overall uh, title and Richie Port because of how good he is on Olenda Hill, uh, the toughest stage of the race, would presumably be the team leader for BMC, uh, also an incredibly strong squad. Uh, Simon Garrett's besides um, Esteban Chavez, who will be lining up with him, uh, Caleb Ewan. Caleb going for some sprint stage wins and if they're clever, try to take a lot of the time bonuses away from Peter Sagan. So, uh, uh, which <laughs> will help Simon Garrett's obviously have a chance to win the overall, but might give Richie Port <laughs> uh, a better chance to win. So if Sagan does not contest, or if he finds it too difficult to race against Caleb Ewan, the beneficiary might be Richie Port on the BMC squad. So it's going to be a very interesting battle. Uh, it's always an exciting race. Uh, it's... Uh, early for a lot of the riders from Europe and very different weather conditions from what they're used to after a European winter. Uh, Tour Down Under can be incredibly hot and has been in the past. It's the middle of the summer in Australia in the Southern Hemisphere, so um, that gives the advantage to uh, the homegrown riders in Australia, uh, used to the Australian summers, used to the heat, and presumably in good enough shape to win the Tour Down Under. It's a big race for the Australian cyclists, and they are some of the best in the world. Team Sky is bringing Garrett Thomas, but I don't see Garrett having the same motivation as some of his competitors. I think he'll race well and get in some good miles, um, but I see a battle between Peter Sagan, Simon Garrett, and Richie Port. Here's your overall. Here's your top three. First Port, second Sagan, and third Simon Garrett. Simon Garrett has already won four times, so <laughs> uh, maybe it's Richie Port's turn. And uh, Richie Port, never the overall winner of the Tour Down Under yet, and looking for the first victory in the home tour for the Australians. So it's going to be a great race. 
and uh, 17th through the 22nd of January, and the racing season is underway. Thanks everybody for watching. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, comment, who do you think is going to win uh, in the comment section. Click on my face to subscribe, and click on the t-shirt icon if you'd like to buy some merchandise. All right, everybody, thanks a lot.